everyone. So today I'm going to be using this really fun baby set. It's called Nap Time. And um, because, oh, let's face it, when we have babies, we love when nap time comes around every once in a while. Um, so I seriously fell in love with drawing this set. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. So I'm thinking, I'm not sure exactly like kind of how my card's gonna go, but mm, we'll just wing it like we always do, right? So it has some really fun elements and um, like little mini elements, like this little tiny tugboat can go on the onesie or the foot or the flower, or the butterfly, the duck, um, the cloud. So I tried to make it so the little mini elements would fit, like you could take out the heart there and put any of them on there, on the bib, on the onesie, on the sock, um, to really give you more for your money. So let's get started. I just have a four by four square little card here. And I'm using this six by six paper pad called um, Sweet Girl by Echo Park. And it has some really adorable patterns in it. I just, I'm, I'm in love with it. So I have two pieces here and I just took a one inch circle punch and um, punched out a piece of um, this strip here. And I was thinking that I'll probably put this on the back somehow. Oh, I just barely cut that freehand and it's like perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking I want something like this, but I want this behind it. However, I'm going to be having this up on pop dots like this, like that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna put something in the middle. I can't decide if I want the sock or the bib because the bib is like circle and it would be perfect in there. But if I was doing a little boy, I totally would do the little tugboat. I think I'm gonna do the sock. Oh, there it is. Dun, da, da, da under the stamps that I used last time. That's how organized I am. I haven't put them away yet. Okay, so I'm going to be paper piecing this little sock here. Yep, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I'm going to just take this stamp, ink it up using the VersaFine, and then figure out where I want, like what colors. I really want a lot of colors, so like, See how this has like the white in the middle? I don't want that. See how these have like all color right there? That's what I kind of want to go with. Oh, I moved it. I wonder if it's, oh, it's still okay. Okay, and then for the bottom little pieces and the top pieces, I'm just going to stamp on this. So this, I'm going to be using the top piece here and these two pieces here. And then I'm going to use this piece as my base. So what I do is I just cut around this one. Okay. Technically you could save the middle of the other one and use it for another sock if you wanted to. I'm just going to grab some Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And just put a little dot right there, and one right there, and one right here. Place these, oops. Place these on top. So there you have a cute little sock. Okay, so I have the scallop punch from Fiskars and I'm just going to put this in there. And then I'm just going to use the edge here, so I'm just going to rough cut this. Save that for later. And we're going to place some tape runner on the edge, right on the edge of that. Oops, and if it gets over a little, just kind of take your finger and twist it over. And then just take it and line it up where you want it. I like to line it up like 
pick one edge and just put it right next to it like that and then kind of press it down like that and then cut off the edges like this so we have this cute little scallop at the bottom of this paper and going to take and adhere this down in the middle-ish. You'll notice that I don't do a whole lot of measuring. I like to kind of go with the flow and put it where I feel like it needs to go. Um, so yeah, so that's going to go like that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna tie, yeah. I'm gonna grab some twine really quick. Okay, so I have some um, trendy twine that's posy. It's like the perfect baby pink. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to take it and I want it to stay kind of at the bottom here. So this is going to be a little tricky since it kind of wants to slide up because it's a circle. So I'm going to grab some tape and just a smidgen piece like that. See how little that is? So I'm just going to take it, place it where I want it. So I want it to stay like right there-ish, right? And then place that piece of tape on the back so it stays. You could also notch it and then just kind of go underneath. I want it three times like that. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape that is larger on the back, place it over all of them so they all stay together. And move that right where it goes. And tie a bow, you can choose wherever you want your bow to go. Okay, and then just take some pop dots here. And make sure that you go around the edge of the circle because we don't want it to be um, flimsy. Okay, and then I'm just going to flip this this way so I can kind of measure or, um, or line it up where I want it on this edge. Let's see. Make sure it's kind of straight. So there is, it popped up, you can see on the side there. And then the little baby booty. I kind of don't like it white. I think I'm going to take, um, yeah, this R20. And this is VersaFine, so you gotta be really careful if you do this. So that it doesn't smear black. That's better, I think. Okay, a little more girly. Like that. This is actually just going to be adhered down to the card. And then the sentiment. I'm going to use, let's see, there's so many to choose from. I think I'm going to use the um, congratulations.
place that down, give it a good push. Like that. And then I'm going to just take my Wink of Stella pen here and just go over the little booty here or sock. I love that. That's adorable. And then also just take it and um, go around on the scallop. gives it a little shimmer. So that is a super easy um, little baby card that you totally could do this over and over again and um, do it really quickly. So mass produce them and then just change out what you want in the little circle or make the circle bigger to fit your elements and um, switch out the sentiment as well. So really easy and fun. I hope this inspired you to go and create something that's perfectly imperfect, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.